Hey, what's up guys? My name is Cinemajesty, you can call me Ryan here from Cinematic Cheese, and I'm going to show you how to get a part of the Sleeper Simulant quest done. It's not the full gun, unfortunately. So, I don't know if it's a prerequisite, step one might be do the Secret Paradox mission. But if it's not, and today's loaded up a mission for you, and I forgot what it's called, because I didn't record it, it's pretty much the Omnigul mission, where she kind of sits in the window and points and laughs at you as you fight things off, and then tell her, what now? What are you going to do, huh? And then she runs away because she sees how awesome you are. So basically, you're going to come down here. You're going to fight off the horde. And then you're going to get a buddy. And I do not remember that part in the uh, Dark Below expansion. The pretty stuff up there was neat. So you're going to get the boss. You're going to beat him up because you're awesome. And then his minions are going to run away. And you're going to get something called a Curious Transceiver. I know, right? Very curious to know what it is. And now I will tell you, there's going to be a code you have to input to uh, get it to work right. And the code here is up, down, up, up, down, down, down. Fix it, Ryan. You know you messed up. Good. And then up and down. And then you get the first code. First of four. The next one <coughs> is dun, 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 dun. up, down, up, up, down, down, up, up. And feel free to pause the video if you just need to kind of stare at it. I'm going to be moving on. Any day now, me. Man, past me took his time. Third code. And it seems a little long, but up, down, 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 up. Come on. Down, 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 up, up. And then you submit the passcode. Again, I think you had to do the paradox where you get all the memories and then you open the chest and then you go to the future world code and turn something in. Although I'm not 100% sure. And then fourth and final code is up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, and then you submit it. And all of a sudden you are receiving a transmission and it's telling you to go to... I'm bad with level names apparently. Shadow Call. Which is essentially the second half of the of Cage Stash mission, except now you're going to be giving a time limit, and also you cannot do this with a friend. You have to do it by yourself. So the mission will pop up on Earth, and you just go. It's right next to uh, Cage Stash. Pause for a drink of water there, and you are on a four-minute timer to scale the whole tower. Which is actually, it sounds like it's going to be challenging, but it's literally not. You can just run through the whole thing, skip all the enemies. Who gives a crap? Do not have to fight them. I took a shortcut right here. Which I don't know if it's really a shortcut, but there's no enemies, no one's shooting at me, no bad guys. And it's um, just out of the way. You can just jump around, it's really simple. The only thing you actually do have to do is when you get to the top, open the chest, and there's wizards that they're like, Oh, I'm gonna beat you up! And you're like, no you're not. And you're just like, bang, bang, bang. There's three wizards, kill them all. And all of a sudden you have... Forget what it's called. The... Ikefloss, Ikeos, Ikelus. That was three tries, right? The Ikelus Fusion Core. And you now are tasked with five objectives that are very obscure and you're not completely sure what to do. But if you stare at it for like a minute, you'll kind of figure it out. So heavy power coupling just wants you to dismantle a heavy weapon. Any heavy weapon. I don't think it has to be legendary. It can be common, uncommon. Rare, legendary, exotic. I mean, let's face it, you can get the exotic back if you want. But I just said I said goodbye to my BTRD. You served me well in Crucible, my friend. You will be missed. I have replaced you. And uh, go back to your fusion core, select the box, and just hit A. One down, four to go. So next, and then you can also do this in any order, doesn't matter. Next, go to the archive. You can either do it on easy or hard. Uh, I didn't want to do it twice, so I just did it on hard. And also, I didn't know if we were going to have to wait for it daily, but it popped. And it kind of looks like a ship blueprint. And it's not going to be in your inventory, so uh, if you look and get confused, it's just not there. So again, you go back to the thing and you hit A. And then you're going to be going to do war sets on Mars, Earth, and Moon. And after you get all the war sets done, e after each war set, uh, you'll get another little blueprint thing and you just, you know, hit start and go in A and lather and repeat now uh, go to you can go to destinytracker.net or .com I forget which one it is 
and uh, you can just monitor where the public events are going to pop up and just kind of plan and map it out. All in all, we did about 30 minutes of waiting for the public event because it, sometimes it was extraction crews and stuff like that. And then uh, we did Earth last because it was it was going to take like 30 minutes. Like we did this and it was extraction crews twice and then finally we got a war set. <clears throat> so it's all just kind of luck. But I think it would have been a whole lot of pointless waiting if not for Destiny LF, not LFG, Destiny public events.net so anyway after you get all five steps done it's gonna act you ask you if you want to reactivate the core of course you're gonna say yes because you uh, kind of believe you're gonna get the sleeper simulant or at least I did I was kind of excited I was a little jittery so then it tells you to take it back to Cade or not Cade but Banshee who I now kind of hate and uh, you just give it to him and it takes a second but you just give it to him and you get nothing. Hooray. If you don't notice, I kind of stopped and I was like, I, I, I got nothing? I, I didn't get anything from my worries? Nothing? Oh, and then it dawned on me, it's probably part one of a multi-part... Well, I didn't get a quest prompt, so it's, uh... Something. But that is part one of how you're going to be getting your sleeper simulant. Uh, over the course of the next few days, there might be another daily where it has a secret that we have to do and then, you know, lather, rinse, repeat that stuff. Or Bungie's just going to dole out the missions uh, one at a time until we're ready for it. But if you could do me a huge favor and like the video if it helped you complete this task, subscribe if it helped you complete the task and you kind of like me for some strange reason, or you just think I'm awesome. Also, if you subscribe, next time this happens, I'm going to be putting out another video showing exactly what to do to get the next part of the Sleeper Simulant, so there's that. So thanks for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it. Um, have a nice day.